Welcome to the Denford ORAC tutorial. This is tutorial number two, executing the program. We've already entered a program in tutorial number one. This tutorial should take you through how to operate it. And the screen you see is as you will see when you switch your machine on. And we want to execute the program. The choices are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We want option 7, execute program. So we go to the keypad, press 7, press enter. And you see the screen changes. Goes to the manual operation screen. And the important thing to watch here for is that X and Z are at the same position as the datum is set in the program. In this case they are, which is X is 0, Z is 0. You now need to go to the manual operating pad and you'll see that uh, the start and the stop at the top of the pad, you press the red once and it brings you back on the screen to your tool offsets. Because we're only using one tool in this program I will just quickly show you the tool offsets by pressing number two to edit the tool offsets. You can see that all tools there are set at zero zero. When you're actually setting them up properly, which I'll show you later on, you set all tools relative to tool zero. So that tool zero will always have Z, X at zero, Z at zero, and the others will uh, be whatever distance you require the carriages to move when you do the tool change to bring the tool cutting part back to the same point. So we're happy with that. We'll press F to quit. You can see now that the the change is made at the bottom line there. It says press F to start. So we press F to start. And it's the cursor is now flashing. At which page do we want to start in the program? Well we need to start at page one. So it's a bit of a silly question at this moment in time. So we'll start with page one. We press enter. Now you can hear the spindle starting but it's only it started at low speed. The program has started at one and it's run through to page five. Now page five is the first entry with a tool. And you can see the cursor flashing by the one of the tool number. So what it's actually doing is waiting for me to confirm that we have got number one tool fitted. Which I can confirm. And the way you confirm it is by pressing on the manual keypad, you press the start button once. The start button. Press it once. And you can hear that the uh, spindle has started up and the program is now running. If you watch the X you see it's gone into 0.45. The Z is uh, travelling up to the 10 millimetres. Loop G73 at the bottom of the page is showing two at the moment. It will reduce to one now. That's the number of passes left to complete the cycle. So after it's completed this cycle, 
Z to 10 and move back to, to zero again and beyond. It uh, goes in and it's now carrying out the finished pass. The tool number one. And that's the program finished that's run through. Now it's important to, so that you can check that you've got the correct figures in the program. If you press the, the emergency stop button you'll see the screen changes to manual operation and there you can check that you've got X at zero and Z at zero. So you're back at the start of the program uh, so you haven't got any discrepancies in the in the entries and at this this is the point where you either load another program or do some other operation or just possibly remove the workpiece from the chuck and add an, and put another one in to do the same operation on we can uh, run this through now the next uh, the next tutorial will be showing you this program running through but actually cutting so that's the end of this for the moment.